Hello and welcome, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Coming at you today with another unboxing. We have the Super 6 Sack from March 2021 Premium Edition, as well as a big old box of stuff that I ordered from Tackle Warehouse, Jackhammer, Mother Load, as you guys can probably tell by the title of the video. And we're gonna go ahead and crack into all of this awesome stuff together. We're gonna start out with the Super 6 Sack. Let me tell you guys a little bit about the Sack. For those of you who don't know, Super 6 Sack, Six Sense Fishing's version of the monthly bait subscription box services that you've seen out out there only it's a little bit different because instead of compiling a bunch of random often unheard of baits from random companies and bargain bins and the back of uncle remus's tool shed it's chock full of nothing but heaters only from six cents fishing high quality premium bass fishing lures baits tackle you never know what you're going to get in a super six sack but one thing is for sure it's always top quality top tier premium goodness from six cents i'm excited to get off into this month's sack once again this is the premium edition for march 2021 really quick before I open the box, I wanna let you guys know that if you're interested in signing up for the best monthly bait subscription service in the game, the Super 6 Sack, you can use my code JR10, Super 6 at checkout on sixcentsfishing.com. That's gonna give you $10 off that first sack. It's a $50 value in the premium sack, but when you use my code JR10, Super 6, it's gonna bring the price of that first sack down to like 27 bucks. It's a killer deal. I've never been disappointed. I'm really looking forward to getting off into this month's sack. I've seen a few people post about this online, and from what I can tell, this one is a killer. Last month's sack I feel like was the best that I've ever got. So I'm curious to see if this one is as good or even better. But without further delay, let's go ahead and cut off into the box. Thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out with me out here in the garage again today. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm Justin Royal. This is my fishing channel. I do unboxing content, on the water fishing content. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I would love to have you guys riding along with what we got going on over here. Let's go ahead, bust out the bottle butcher. Shout out to Berg Blades. Let's get off into the Super Six Sack for March 2021, Premium Edition. It's going down. Let's see what we got. What color is the sack this month? Speaking of fishing Christmas, it's a red sack. I think I have a red and white sack, but the red and black, I ain't mad at it. So let's go ahead, reach off into the bag and see what we got here for the first item this month. Boom, hey, Ghost Ice Minnow 3.2 inch Divine paddle tail swim baits this is one of my favorites right here 3.2 ghost ice minnow throw these bad boys on an a rig killer soft plastic paddle tail swim bait as you guys already know i fish these all the time absolutely love them super durable and that ghost ice minnow is a killer color for clear water i actually just ran out of these so that's like perfect as the first item out of the sack all right let's keep it rolling what else do we got you can go soft plastics or hard baits soft plastics or hard baits let's go hard baits boom what do we got that is the herring shad color Provoke 106 hard plastic jerk bait. My buddy Jake on fishing has been out there smashing them on the jerk baits lately. And that right there is a killer color for the jerk bait box. Look at that. That nice natural pearl white on the side, goldish yellow lateral line, black dot. You got the gray on the top, orange accent on the chin. As always, super sharp, high quality black knuckle hooks and hardware on all six cents hard baits straight out of the pack, ready to fish. You do not need to replace the hardware on these bad boys. Yeah, that's a killer. Provoke 106X, Herring Shad. So far, this sack is a ripper. I ain't mad at it, as I often say here on the channel. Let's keep it rolling. What else do we got in the sack today? Boom, the prawn. The prawn, 4.2, and bluegill fire. Bluegill fire. I don't think I have this color. Check this out, let's crack one out. I don't have this color, check it out. On this side, this looks like a your standard green pumpkin type color, a little bit of motor oil, a little more brown tint going on, but then when you flip that bad boy over, look at that, dude. Black flake on this side, light motor oil with the blue and orange flake on this side. Bluegill fire, that's one that I didn't already have in the prawn, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be throwing that. I love using the prawn as a flipping bait. Texas rig with a uh, 3 8 ounce or a half ounce bullet weight pegged on a 4 aught EWG Gamakasu light wire worm hook. Or you could throw it on the six cents stout EWG hooks as well. Depending on how heavy cover you're fishing, if you're throwing braid, I would recommend six cents stout. But for me, when I'm throwing fluorocarbon, I like to go with that lighter wire hook. Those are just the two hooks that I use. Bluegill fire, stoked on that one, man. Shoot some heat coming out of this sack. Let's keep rocking and rolling. There's a few more baits in here still. I don't know which one to pull out. I'm gonna grab this one. Dude, <laughs> it just keeps getting better and better. Are you kidding me? There's a Vega frog in here, guys. There's a Vega frog in the sack. I think this might be, this just might be the best sack ever. Get a freaking Vega frog, dude. It's the black one, solid black, red and gold eyes. 
Some people say black and white, that's all you need when it comes to frogs. Well, there you go, the Vega Frog. One of the hottest of drops from last year. These things were super popular, gone super quick, but they now have them back in full force over there on sixcentsfishing.com and coming at you live and direct and full effect in this month's super six sack. Got these uh, hook points angled up, improve your hookup ratio. I trimmed those legs a little bit, got that nice cupped mouth. Well, my favorite thing about this frog is that it doesn't fill with water constantly like every other frog that I've ever thrown. Don't have to squeeze it out every two casts, three casts. And uh, the action on this thing, it's really friendly, you know, it's user friendly. Easy to walk, easy to pop. Yeah, we're rolling right up on frog time right now. So uh, that's perfect, that's just perfect, man. A black Vega frog in this month's Super Six Sack. That's some fire. Awesome, dude. Heaters only in the Super Six Sack. But wait, there's more. Sounds like we got a couple hard baits as well. Awesome, let's see what we got. Next, my personal favorite finesse square bill, the Curve 55 finesse square bill. Oh, dude, I just saw the color. Natural crawfish, this color right here, looks like a custom paint, but it's not. It's a standard six cents color. Check it out. Dude, come on now. Look at this thing. Look at that little purple, that little dark purple on the back. Got the blue belly, green pumpkin back with the golden yellow accents, black striping. Super sharp hooks, as you can see. Yeah, this is my favorite finesse square bill on the planet right here, the Curve 55 finesse. And this might be my favorite item out of the sack this month so far. Wow, what a killer, dude, what a killer. And it looks like Casey painted this and threw it in the sack. Nope, that's just a standard, that's just the standard heat from the six. Gotta love it. I think it's safe to say this might be the best super six sack yet that we've ever opened here on the channel. They've all been killer, and I have a bunch of Super Six Sack unboxing videos here for you guys to check out. Speaking of, I will create a playlist, link it down below in the video description if you guys would like to go back and see every Super Six Sack that we've ever opened here on the channel. Go down there, click that link, roll through the vids, I'll make it nice and easy for you. But wait, there's more, we have one more item in the sack this month, what could it be? A Thud 70? It's a Black Magic Thud 70. Sweet dude. The Thud, the Quake 70 Thud. This is the half ounce Black Magic. As you can see, solid black, blue accents, lime green, almost chartreuse on the belly, a little orange accent on the nose. And my favorite part about this particular color pattern on this bait is the eye blobs. Look at that thing. That green iridescence, holographic, whatever you want to call it, man. The eyes are just killer. It's got like a flat, natural finish, but it's really bold. It's going to be a killer muddy, murky watercolor, and as you can hear, it's got that low-end knocker in there, and that's why they call it the Quake Thud 70, because it's got that thud to it. Awesome, what a killer sack this month, man. Unbeatable. Moving on into that like early spring, summertime mode with this sack, and I really like the bait selections that they chose. Super stoked on this month's sack. I think it might be the best one yet. You guys go down below in the comments to let me know what you think about this month's sack. Did you get a sack? This month, was it the same as mine? Was it different? Did you get the same colors? I'm interested to hear you guys' feedback. Let me know what you got from the sixth this month and your super six sack. I know a lot of you guys out there are subscribers to the service as well, but I'm stoked on that one, dude. Uh, favorite two items out of the bag is gonna be the Provoke in that herring shad, that's killer, and this Curve 55 Finesse in the natural crawfish. It looks like a custom color, so awesome. And man, you can't beat it when they throw a Vega frog in there. Soft plastics, hard baits, the whole gambit of awesome. Heaters from the six. Check out Super Six Sack, sixcentsfishing.com. JR10, Super Six at checkout. $10 off the first sack. That's gonna bring the price of that first one down to like 27 bucks. Killer value. They do it right over there at the six. And I am extremely stoked on this month's sack. But let's go ahead and get into box number two. We got another box. This one right here is from Tackle Warehouse, as I'm sure you guys can tell by the title. Let's go ahead and crack off into here. Take a look at all of the bladed jigs that I ordered from Tackle Warehouse, as well as a couple other goodies. All right. Dang, I forgot I ordered this much stuff. Check it out, it's loaded. This thing is chock full of awesomeness. I forgot that I ordered some of this stuff, man. I forgot there were swim baits in here too. Some of the stuff meant to grab it, some of it, I don't even remember ordering. 
First up, this fell out of the box when I opened it. This is Savage Gear 3, Savage Gear 3D Baitfish Paddle Tail 4 inch. I do not even remember ordering these. If I did, I probably thought they were a lot bigger, but hey, I'll take them. Savage Gear. 3D paddle tail. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. So yeah, it looks like I got a, I got a few of that of those styles. Let's see here. Got that little guy. This is a small four inch swim bait. This is the uh, the jointed version. As you can see, it's got the little sections, cuts in the body there. Get a little <laughs> 3D bait fish four inch. That's the pearl color. There's another one. 3D bait fish four inch. This is the hitch color. There is a uh, golden shiner. That's the paddle tail version. I would throw these, to be honest with you, man. I'm not mad at it. Looks like I got one more pack, of, a couple more packs of those as well. There's the uh, the jointed version of that golden shiner. Here's the paddle tail version of the pearl color. I ain't mad at it. Let's keep rocking and rolling. As the plane rips over, meow, as soon as I kick the camera on, never fails. Somebody starts uh, screaming, beaming and screaming. Dude, yes, there's some cool stuff in this box, man. Oh, yeah, there's some heat in here. All right, let me go ahead and grab Terminal tackle. These are the Dobbins. Hey, this pack is missing one. There's supposed to be three in there. It's one eighth ounce Dobbins swim bait heads that I was gonna use for A-rigs. This one's only got two in it. At least the other two are full. But that is some jargon right there, man. We're gonna have to hit up TW. Get them to rectify the situation. I'm sure they will. Tackle Warehouse, always really cool if there are ever any issues. But let's keep rolling through the box. These right here I got for, uh, you know, pairing up with some of the A-Rigs. If you guys are interested in seeing me throw the A-Rigs, I've been out there throwing them. Um, had some crazy stuff happen and I even caught, um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. I'm not even gonna spoiler alert this bad boy. If you wanna see me throwing some A-Rigs, see some A-Rig action out here on the home lake, make sure you stick around for that. But uh, let's keep rolling through this unboxing. So. This paper. Really quick, some more terminal tackle. These right here, owner beast hooks. Six aught owner beast twist lock hooks. Swim bait hooks. There's some eight aught owner beast hooks. Next up, got a few more swim baits here. Have one of the bigger savage gears. This is the pulse tail trout six inch slow sink in carp color. If you guys watch my Team Six Beatdown video out there with Luke Duncan and Darian Craig, you might know why I decided to go ahead and snag one of these bad boys. There are carp on my lake and big bass eat carp. So that right there, yeah. Looking forward to throwing that around, rolling it slow down there deep, hopefully smash us a monstro. All right, let's check this one out. Next up, Savage Gear. This is the seven inch hitch 3D trout, the top hook version. Check that out. It's a nice, uh, Nice looking swim bait there. I'm not gonna open them up. I'm gonna throw them on the tackle wall. So I'm gonna leave them in the package, keep them protected until I'm ready to fish. This next swim bait right here, I believe this is why I got the six aught owner hooks actually. This is the Mega Bass Mag Draft Freestyle. I've been getting uh, a lot of questions about whether or not I throw the Mag Draft. If I have any of these, well, well, I went ahead and ordered me up some. Now I have these two and I'm looking forward to trying out this bait. I know a lot of people throw this swim bait, so. Wanted to snag me a couple. That's the white back shad color. Mega bass, mag draft. Sweet dude. Running out of room here on the table. One thing that's cool about Tackle Warehouse is that if I decide that these baits are a little too small for me, which I'm thinking that they are, I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger. I don't know why I thought four inch was gonna be bigger than this. I didn't know they were gonna come in packs of three for one. But if I decide that these aren't these aren't, you know, right for me. If I decide that I want to go another way, Tackle Warehouse, they include this little form. You can just send this stuff right back to them. They'll refund you or exchange it. No issue, no questions asked. So it's no big deal if you get something that isn't quite what you thought it was going to be when you're shopping with Tackle Warehouse. That's one of the reasons why I love spending money with those guys. I have no affiliation whatsoever. They don't even know who I am, but um, yeah. One good thing about Tackle Warehouse is if something goes wrong, they will fix it. All right. Everything else in here is a chatterbait. Let's go ahead and take a look. I got a few of the Z-Man Chatterbait Project Z series. These are gonna be 3 8 ounce. This color right here, that's a killer. Green pumpkin shad. I think that's gonna do really well out here for me. Then when we need something with a little boldness, a little brightness, a little flash to it, there's the sexier shad color. Once again, these are all 3 8 ounce bladed jigs. This one right here, dark green pumpkin. I actually already have one of these, I believe, up here on the tackle wall, just in a different version. I don't think it's the Project Z series, but yeah, there we go. Snagged a few of those. Needed some more bladed jigs. I wanted to try out a couple of the more 
cost efficient options. Looks like we have one more of those in here as well. This is the blue back herring color. And surprisingly enough, uh, this white with a little bit of yellow and green pumpkin going on actually does really good out here on my lake. So grab one of those as well. One more in the Project Z series. This is the green pumpkin craw color. Really natural green pumpkin. Got a little bit of, uh, looks like it's watermelon red, green pumpkin, and brown all mixed into the skirt there. Black blade on that one. The rest of these bad boys, Z-Man jackhammers. So this is the good stuff in here. Let's go ahead and break them all out and we'll take a look up close and personal at all of the different jackhammer colors that I went with. First up, this one right here. Whoa, this one looks like a heater. This is the Bama Bug color. Purple with the green pumpkin, the shimmery green on the head, black blade, Z-Man jackhammer. These things are not cheap. I've lost a couple of them recently, so I had to load up. This right here, ghost green gizzard shad. Just another natural shad color. Looks like it's got white, silver, green pumpkin, a little black flake. Nice. Next up, another natural shad color. This is one of my favorites that they make. This is the clear water shad. That one's got a silver blade and a white and silver head on it. I love this color right here. Clear water shad, killer on my lake. Cause I got the clear water, you know. This one is another unique color. This is the sprayed grass. It's got that same kind of flashy paint job on the head. Looks like chartreuse green pumpkin with a little bit of purple flake mixed in there. Silver blade on that one as well. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. You know, I had to go with that spring craw. This is a it's a little variation on that fire craw color that everybody loves so much. It's a little bit darker, a little uh, a little less flashy, but still red and black, bold. Got that red flake in there. Nice. Speaking of the reds, I also grabbed this. This is the Heights Hot Craw color. This is a pretty popular one. I see a lot of people talk about this color. It's a little bit darker, you know? It's a little bit more black going on in there. Darker paint job on the head there black blade instead of silver. Next up, this is the spot remover color. Look at that bad boy. Got that silver paint job, silver blade. Looks like uh, just a ghost in chartreuse with a little bit of silver, black, and gray accents in the skirt. There's a really nice up close and personal look at that one. I'm not gonna open up all these. You guys know I normally like to open up everything, take it out of the package, show it to you in detail up close and personal here on the camera, but I'm gonna refrain from doing that with all of these jackhammers, keep them in the package throw them up on the tackle wall until we're ready to fish them. But this is the last one on the day. This is the green pumpkin shad color. This is another killer natural clear water color. Definitely throw that. I like throwing these jackhammers on the ESP 7.3 medium heavy moderate rod from Sixth Sense Fishing. Seven to one, you could throw it on a six to one, but I generally throw my bladed jigs on a seven to one gear ratio reel, 15 or 16 pound Sunline fluorocarbon. And on the back of my bladed jigs, I like to run one of two options for my trailer. Option number one, if I'm trying to go the finesse route and I want a smaller profile and I think the fish are not committing as hard to the bigger stuff, then I'm going to go with a Hog Farmers Spunk Shad. This is a really good chatterbait trailer, especially if you're trying to go finesse. Just got a little straight tail, super soft plastic with a lot of action, and it doesn't impede the performance of the blade. You're still getting all that action from the chatterbait that you pay for. You wanna run a trailer, but you don't want to impede the action of that bait at all. And the Spunk Shad is a great way to do that, especially when you're trying to downsize a little bit and you want them to engulf that whole bait. But if they are committing full force, exploding, and they don't mind something with a little bit bigger profile, or if you wanna add a little bit of bulk to that 3 8 ounce bladed jig, I go with the Flush 5.2 from Sixth Sense Fishing. You guys saw me out there on Choke Canyon fishing with the president of Sixth Sense Fishing, Casey, and this is what he was throwing on the back of his chatterbait. I got one look at it in the water. I saw that tail quiver over with, had to bust one out and put it on the back of my chatterbait as well, and I've done really well using this as a chatterbait trailer since then. I know I said I wasn't gonna open these jackhammers up, but now that we're sitting here talking about trailers, talking about ways to rig these things, I'm tempted and I'm not gonna be able to resist the temptation. So we're gonna go ahead and crack one of these open. Let's grab this uh, clear water shad and I'll show you guys exactly how I would rig up this flush on the back of my chatterbait. We will crack into one. All right, you talk me into it. We will crack into one of these bad boys. All right, let's get a look at this jackhammer here up close and personal. If you guys are enjoying the unboxing, please subscribe to the channel. Maybe share this video with a friend. Hit that thumbs up button. That helps YouTube know that you like the video. This right here, man. It's gonna be a good option. Go ahead and pull that hook cover off. Nice. High quality components on the jackhammers, man. They're, they are different from the cheaper versions, you know? There, there is a difference. I like how they mark the, the weight on the bottom of the chin. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it says 3 eighths right there. Let's let the plane go over. What else is new? The jackhammers have combination lead and wire bait keeper. Nice stout hook. And this flush, money. 
money on the back of a bladed jig. I don't care if it's a jackhammer, whatever you're throwing, man. This flush on the back of a bladed jig is supreme. Let's go ahead and thread it on straight through the nose. Keep it centered. Pinch that bait as you thread the hook through the body. Come right out the top in between the splits and that dorsal fin. Push that bad boy on up to that keeper. Boom, and that right there. Dude, look at it dance. She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. Yeah, dude, I'm about to just turn off the camera and go throw this right now. That looks so good. Yeah, there you go. They're in full on chase mode and they're committing. This is this is the way on, on my chatterbaits, man. This, uh, this flush on the back of a bladed jig is just super deadly. There it is, man. That's how I rig that bad boy up. Not much different when it comes to the spunk shad. You're just gonna be not running as bulky of a profile with that right there, man. Super deadly. And that's gonna go ahead and round out this unboxing. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me out here in the garage today for another unboxing vid. Like I mentioned a couple times during the vid, if you enjoyed it, if you had fun hanging out with me out here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Kick those notification bells on to catch all my future content. Check out the Super 6 sack, sixcentsfishing.com, JR10, Super 6 for the discount. And if you just wanna shop around and you wanna hand pick all of your heaters yourself and you don't wanna have anyone have any control over what baits you get, you can load up that cart and use my code JR10 at checkout. That's gonna give you 10% off of your entire order and as always anyone who uses my jr10 discount code with six cents fishing gets a shout out on my instagram so once you place your order use that code take a little screenshot of the confirmation email that they're going to send you shoot me a dm over on instagram at the justin royal and i will give you a shout out on my instagram story it's just a way for me to give you guys some public recognition and say thank you for helping us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling over here so that we can continue to bring you free fishing content on youtube also please consider checking out the very top link in the video description the heaterzone.com is where you can find all of the justin royal fishing related merchandise we have some killer designs inspired from the late 90s early 2000s high color high quality vibrant fishing related graphics we have the heaters design we have the feduda design which is fish every day until the apocalypse we also have hats available if you guys are interested in the lids and sticker packs as well and anyone who places an order off the heater zone is directly helping us keep the wheels turning over here so thank you guys so much i see all of you who have been placing your orders lately thank you all much love i hope you enjoyed the video i appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to tune in and watch but that's about all i got for you today that about does it that about wraps her on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now and i'll see you on the next one